I had played softball my whole life, and um, I was just playing a uh, kind of like club um, for high school, and I just started kind of get tired of it, and so the winter of my junior year, I decided to like go in and tell my softball coach that I wasn't going to be playing anymore, and my mom was like, "All right, well you're going to have to pick up something else because you're not just going to like sit around." Following in the footsteps of her older sister, Alyssa Leonard picked up a lacrosse stick. But despite being a standout athlete in three other sports, the transition to a fourth wasn't a smooth one. I just remember sitting on the bench and being like, what am I doing? Like, one, I was questioning why I was playing because I was like, I didn't pick up a sport to just to sit on the bench. One day, like in practice, I guess we were doing draws and my coach was like, oh, like we just need someone to like rip the ball backwards. That was before, like we were really trying to be directive with the ball. And they're like, oh, like you're kind of strong, like go up there and rip the ball back. I'm like, all right, sure, I can't really do anything else. And then it kind of became my thing um, my senior year for sure. At Northwestern, Leonard has refined her craft with the help of some of the sport's best. Head coach Kelly Amante Hiller was a draw specialist in her playing days, as were former assistant Hillary Fratsky and current assistant Danielle Spencer. They just like kind of taught me to have it down so well that you know going into the game that there's nobody else that's going to beat you and I just think with the help of all three of them and how hard they they pushed me and they were there every single day to take these reps with me has really um, kind of given me the mindset of uh, kind of owning owning the draw just to come back and win something that's supposed to be a 50 ball and to constantly keep winning it over and over again it's just like taking jabs at the other team and you know, just when they think they can maybe get possession back and you're taking it away from them again, I think it just like, really can add to your team's momentum. Over her career, the draw control totals have added up quickly for Leonard. In fact, on March 11th, when she became the NCAA's all-time leader in career draws, the senior was completely caught off guard. I thought I had a while to go. I didn't realize how like, fast it was, they were counting up. Um, but like my mom, who doesn't miss a single game, she had no idea either because I just like don't talk about it. So after the game, like I had 50 calls and like texts and her just being like, how did you not tell me? Like I would have been there because she doesn't miss a game. And this was like the one game she missed this season. So she was like freaking out and I legitimately had no idea. On the field, Leonard is known as a fierce competitor. And that more than any record is exactly how the Bayshore New York native wants to be remembered. Even though I am this kind of like draw specialist, um, when I come to practice, like even though I'm not a defender, like I still jump in the defense and like work really hard in every little thing I do, just being as competitive as I can, um, kind of for the benefit of me, for the benefit of my team. For NUSports.com, I'm Rob Coons.